solid man. He, he's, he's big, he's strong, he's tough, he's game. He, he's got a good punch on him. He's got good power. He's knocked out a lot of men. Um, he's, got, he's had a good learning career as well. Um, he's got a lot of experience in the fight game. He was also a kickboxer and, a, and an MMA man as well. So he's, he's definitely a man that needs a lot of respect. And that's why I've given him all this training camp. We've had, uh, I've had everything possibly I can do to train for this I've done. So I haven't left any stones unturned. I haven't not, not trained as hard as I would have done for anybody else. I've trained as hard for Dillian as I have for uh, Wilder or anybody else or Klitschko or anybody. So uh, he'll be fighting the best Tyson Fury. I'm in great shape. I've had good sparring. I've, I've had good food. I've, I've drank my water. I've had my vitamins. I've had everything. So there's, uh, there's no excuses from me. I'm injury free. Um, and that's it. He's fighting the best, best version of Tyson Fury. And, and that's it. Fantastic. We know that you sparred together. It's many years ago. Yep. Does it have relevance? And I'll ask you that question first, Tyson. Um, if I may. Not really. I, I think I touched this last night with Coogan. Um, when we sparred years ago, I think it was about 2011, 12, whatever, um, sparring is sparring, you know. I think I was preparing for um, David A. I could have been preparing for Klitschko. I can't really remember if it was 15 or 13. And, and Dillian came in and he did his job along with the rest of the guys who were there helping me prepare for a fight, you know what I mean? It's not about, oh, I beat him up in a spa or he beat me up in a spa. We were there working together, and we were, we were good friends together. We went out, we went out for a drink, we, we ate together, we slept together. We, he was like, he was uh, a part of our team. No, 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 bro. Uh, oh, bro, we, hey, we didn't back. sleep together, bro. I'm sorry, man. No, we didn't sleep together, bro. We, we slept in, the, in a similar surrounding. We're not together, bro. Relax. Yeah, so there was no, like, it wasn't like animosity, like him versus me. Every person, every, every guy I bring into, into my training camp, I treat him with respect. I look after him like they're one of my own family. I don't disrespect anybody. Any of these training partners who ever come, I never disrespect them. I treat them like my own family. I look after them as best as I can. I pay them what I can afford, and that's, and that's it, you know. So the sparring is sparring. We, we both helped each other out along the way, and that's it. I don't think you can go on what happened 10 years ago. God's sake. 10 years ago, I would have been 24. He'd have been 24 as well, yes. same age. So we're different men today. It's uh, um, different versions. He's a lot improved and so am I. So I think, we, I think everybody is underestimating how good of a fight this is going to be. I see these odds and things and I just laugh at them because they're obviously coming from people who don't know boxing. There's like 7 to 1, 10 to 1 odds. This is a heavyweight boxing fight. Anybody can win with one punch and it's good night Vienna. So if I'm not on my A game, then that man's going to knock my head right off my shoulders. So I'm going to have to be preparing good, and I, which I have, and I'm going to have to be on form to beat him. And so is he going to have to perform at his best to beat me. So I think we're in for a real treat on uh, Saturday night, and it's coming quite quickly. Indeed it is. Thank you very much, Tyson. On that last point, back to you, Dillian, if I may. I think a lot of people, including Sugar Hill, has actually pointed this out. There have been so many technical improvements from you along the way, and everybody in boxing knows you are a devastating puncher when you get your moment. But 12 hard rounds at the pace that this man can fight at, can you do 12 hard rounds like that? Have you got it in the legs? I've done 12 rounds before. No, of course I got it in the legs. Can you see how strong my legs is? Of course I got it in the legs, listen. It's a different challenge, you know, like it's a challenge. I must be in my A game, I must have to work, but you know, we worked hard in the gym, you know, and I believe in myself and, um, Listen, I'm willing to do whatever it takes, man. You know, I'm that kind of fighter where whatever I've got to do, I will do. You know, anything, any victory by any means necessary, I'll do that. You know, and I'm not scared to, to, to take risks. I've taken risks my whole life, so.